Hi everybody, Mrs Wild here again, ready for some more maths. Okay guys, so today's lesson, you're going to need this booklet, week four, and we're on lesson three now, finding the difference, finding the difference, okay, and you're also going to need some paper to write on, so if you've got a book, great, if not, just some squared paper or just some paper will be no problem, okay. Guys, this lesson is finding the difference and we're finding the difference on the number line. And I do not want to hear, this is easy. I know the maths that we're doing at the moment, today's lesson is quite simple, but it's about the method. And then tomorrow's lesson, we'll look at a different method. And then you'll be able to use this method when the numbers are much harder. But I just want you to really understand finding the difference on a number line today, okay? So I'm going to share my screen. We are going to look at this. Okay. First thing we've got to do is daily 10. So pause the video and I'll see you when they get back. Pause it and go. Okay, welcome back. That's You've paused it, so you've brought it back now. So you should have answered all those questions. Your daily 10, ready for your answers. Here we go. 15, 8, 18, 72, 6. 48, 18, 88, 16, and 50. Mark it now and give yourself a mark out of 10. I hope you're still practicing your times tables, guys. Should be doing times tables every day. Times table rock stars every day. Just checking that was working perfect. So you've got lots that you can be doing. Right, let's move on. So today we are finding the difference between to between numbers, between two numbers. And we're going to use a number line to help us. So this is a technique that you should have done in year two, but we're gonna recap it now to make sure we're really solid on it. And then we'll be able to move on. So here I have, just stand up and move on here. Where's my pen gone? There it is. Here I have, what is the difference between 13 and 17? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 13 on here. Oh, we've done it again. 13. And I know that I'm wanting to stop at 17. And I want to know what is the difference? What is it between those two numbers? So I'm going to count now. You ready? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's got me to 17. And this here is the difference between them. And I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four. The difference between 13 and 17 is four. There is four the four numbers between 13 and 17. The difference is four. Okay, the next one. What is the difference between 21 and 32? So I'm gonna start here with 21. You can do this in your booklet as well. So 21, and I'm counting on from 21 and I'm stopping at 32. Remember 32 in your head. So I've got 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's my 32. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So the difference between 21 and 32 is 11. 11. Okay. 43 and 31. Now, I'm not going to count myself back. I'm not going to make this more challenging. I'm just going to put the smallest number on the left-hand side. So I'm going to put 31 here. And I know that I need to remember to stop at 43. So you're ready. We have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. And then I count my bumps in between my... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The difference between 31 and 43 is 12, okay? Hope you're understanding this so far. You hope you're remembering it. So now it is time to work in your books. I told you it was a quick lesson today. You're going to be working in your books and I want you to write the date and the title and then just write model and then wait. And then I'm going to show you my book. So pause the screen now and get the date and the title. Today's date is the 
seven. Our first 20, 21. This is wild. Must have been tired when she did this one. Find the difference on a number line. Write the date and title. Pause your screen now so you can get that done and come back when you are ready. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you can see this nice and clearly. So I have got my date and my title. One thing I have forgotten to do, Mrs. Wilde, is underline them, just like I would do if I was in school. Finding the difference on a number line. Now, model. I've now got the difference between 14 and 26 is, now I've already answered this, but I'm gonna show you, I want you to put a line there. So what you would have done is you'd have drawn a number line, guys. I'd have just drawn a line that's around 20 squares long. It doesn't matter because we're not actually using the exact amount. We're just using it to help us to count. So I've done a line that's about 20 squares long. Okay, so you can do that now. I've put 14 at one end. I put my smallest number at one end. And then I counted. I went 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And I wrote my 26 in there. I then counted my jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I know that the difference between 26 and 14 is 12. And I've underlined my answer there. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to now go back to sharing my screen. And so you can see your independent task. You can just write IT so you know it's independent. I'm gonna share my screen, which is here. Okay, you have got four questions. I want you to pause the video now and I want you to answer these questions just like you've done with the model. Drawing your number line, writing the smaller number on the left hand side, counting up to the bigger number, counting the jumps in between them and writing your answer in. So pause the video and complete this task. Off you go. Okay, welcome back. You've unpaused your video, so you must have finished. So I'm going to show you your answers now so you can mark them. Let me just move up a little bit. Up, 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 and away. Just send the last one in. Perfect. There we go. So number one, the difference between 18 and 8 is 10. Look, here I have 8. I have 18, I've done my jumps, and there were 10 of them between those two numbers. Here I've got six and 12, the difference is six. Eight and 14, the difference is six. And 17 and 22, the difference is five. But I must have the right working out. You must see this on your number line too, please guys. All right. So pause the video, check that that was correct. And that's your lesson for today. Well done, everybody. I hope that's been all right. Hope that you can pause it and you can continue. See you later.